Hello again, YouTube. Again, hope you guys are well and doing good. I have a couple minutes out of my day here that um, I can do a video. A few people were asking me to do a hair update. Obviously, there's a difference. Um, and I don't know who I don't know who follows me for for dreads or whatever, but I just came outside and Zeta's throwing a fit to get outside. I guess she can come out. Come on, baby. Come in. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have combed out most of it. <laughs> um, obviously it's longer. Um, I did it only because of, I did it because it was getting all matted up, alright, like, um, <sighs> The dreads were like all turning into one big knot. I haven't, I don't have a good angle of the back and by no means have I combed out all of it. Because it's a big deal and this back is just getting worse and worse and worse since I've been like moving and <laughs> busy. I'm just lazy. But whatever, I'll show you guys the back. You know what I mean? And I don't know about you fellow ladies, but I don't particularly enjoy my hair looking like that, or feeling like that. It doesn't feel good to have your hair in one big mat, right? Um, so I've combed it out, most of it, I have to comb that out, obviously. And then I'm just kind of feeling it out. I don't know. I don't know if I'm immediately going to jump back into dreads. I might. It's what I've done forever. And you know, I've combed out my hair a few different times in my dread journey. and. What always gets me putting them back in is that Zeta, oh, are you okay? Yeah. Is that I, I as my in my adult life and even in my like adolescent teenage years, I never devoted any time to really doing my hair. You know, I always kept it short before I had dreads, like super short. So I could just like run my fingers through it with some gel and like that was good, right? Or I had it in dreads and when you do that you don't have to do a whole lot with it. You don't got to wake up in the morning and brush your hair and go, oh crap, my hair looks like crap today. What am I going to do? I need a hat or I need whatever. Like that's what I'm dealing with right now and I don't particularly enjoy it. But I do enjoy it when it is brushed. It's nice. I don't think I've ever seen myself with even this length of hair. That's kind of cool. You know, so that's what's going on. I'm not going to continue to repeat myself. <laughs> that's why my hair is different. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys, you know, posted or whatever. Um, if I, you know, if and when I get the dreads back, it will be um, not the all natural process necessarily. It will be me putting the dreads in very loosely. You know, just like kind of sectioning them off and just, you know, backcombing and putting them in so that the hair knows where it needs to go so that way it doesn't get confused. And I had had several sets of dreads before this one that I had gone through and my hair always re the same way, but post-pregnancy, I don't know if it's a change in lifestyle or if it's just hair is so super spiritual and cool that the differences that, you know, and the changes that happened to me as a mother, hormonally maybe, made the dreads lock up different. I don't know, but for some reason it was not what I expected to do. It did something totally different. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I'm also, I'm still not even unpacked in my house yet, like at all. I have a lot of boxes and... Um, I'm just doing a lot, you know, but I will show you guys around sometime, and I'm doing art. I have been art journaling more, and let's see, I'll show you guys about that, show you what I got so far, maybe later, some other time, but peace and love, hope you guys are well, and leave comments below, subscribe, keep in touch with me, so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs>